Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to model the Earth, and animate in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. First of all, we need to download the Earth image textures. I will share the download link in the description. Let's go to website, and download the Earth Day map, normal map, specular map, and Earth clouds map at 8K resolution. You can download at 2K quality if you want to get faster render. I just want to see the details better on the Earth. So, I will download them at 8K quality. Let's go to Blender, and start to model the Earth. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Press numpad 1 and go to front view. As you know, the Earth has 23.4 degrees axial tilt. So, we need to rotate the sphere 23.4 degrees on the Y axis. Right click and make shade smooth. Click on the modifier tab, and add subdivision surface modifier. Set the subdivision level to 1 for viewport and render, and apply the modifier. Now, we can add texture images. I want to use Eevee Render Engine for animation rendering. It will be faster than cycles. Click on the Render Properties tab, and switch to Eevee. Also switch to Render Preview Mode. Now, let's add the Sun. Move the Sun on the X-axis. Rotate the Sun light 90 degrees towards to the Earth. Click on the Object Data Properties tab, and set the Sun Strength to 5. Also, set the Specular value to 0.2. Let's select the Earth, and switch the Timeline Editor to Shader Editor. Click on the New button and add a new material for the Earth. Press Shift A and a Image Texture node. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to use PBR textures in Blender. Click on the Open button, and open the Earth Day map. Plug the Color node to Base Color node of the principled shader. The Earth map has been projected onto the sphere. It looks cool. But, if we zoom in the poles, we can see some wrinkles on the map. It is because that Blender uses UV coordinates of the sphere defaultly. The sphere has weird topology in the poles, because we have applied subdivision surface modifier. It causes this wrinkle problem on the map. To fix this problem, firstly let's add texture coordinate node and mapping nodes. To do that, select the image texture node and press Ctrl T. If the node wrangler add-on is disabled, it won't work. So, be sure that our node wrangler add-on is enabled. Let's switch to generated coordinate instead of the UV coordinate. Also switch to sphere as projection method. There we go. The problem has solved. Let's add cloud map now. Add an image texture, and open the cloud map. Don't forget to switch to Sphere Projection. Also, plug the Mapping node to Image Texture. We need to mix both image. So, let's add a Mix RGB node. Switch the Blending node to Add. Plug the the both images to Color 1 and 2 nodes. Plug the Mix RGB to Principled Shader. We can also set the Factor value to 0.8, so the clouds will be more highlighted. Let's add Specular Map in the same way.
switch to spherical projection, and don't forget to switch to non-color space. Because we will use black and white data of the specular map. Let's plug the map to specular node of the principled shader. There we go. As you can see, the continents has lower specular reflection than the oceans by this map. We can also increase the roughness value a little bit. Finally, let's add the normal map. Add an image texture, and open the normal map. In the same way, we can use black-white data of the normal map. Switch to non-color space, and choose the spherical projection. Let's add a normal map vector. Plug the normal map vector to principled shader. When we increase the strength value, a fake a depth and displacement occurs on the Earth. That's only an illusion. Let's set this value to 4. It is time to animate the Earth. Let's switch the shader editor to timeline editor. Press numpad 1 and go to front view. We need to rotate the Earth around the own axis. Let's enable the rotate tool. So, if we try to rotate the Earth on the global Z axis, it won't rotate around the own axis. If we switch the rotation axis to local axis, we can rotate the Earth around the own axis. We will animate the Earth rotating on the local Z axis. Firstly, let's add an empty object. Select the Earth, click on the Constraint tab, and add a Copy Rotation Constraint. Select the empty object as Target Object. We want to copy only target Z location. So, let's disable the X and Y rotations. We want the target to rotate global Z axis, and the Earth to rotate local Z axis. So, we will switch to local space for the owner. Select the empty object, click on the Object Properties tab, and rotate on the global z-axis. The Earth is rotating on the local z-axis now. As you know, the Earth rotates from the west to east. Be sure you rotate it on the correct direction. We gonna animate the z-rotation value. First of all, be sure you are at frame 1 in the timeline editor. Then, Go over the Z rotation value, right click, and insert keyframe. Then, go to frame 100. Increase the Z rotation value a little bit. Right click and add a keyframe. Go to frame 1 and play the animation. It looks cool. But, if you have noticed, the Earth starts to rotate accelerating, and stops by slowing down. It is because it uses Bezier interpolation. We want the Earth rotates at constant speed. So, we need to set interpolation type to linear. To do that, let's switch the timeline editor to graph editor. Select the Z rotation graph. Hit the A key and select the keyframes. Press T key, and set the interpolation type to linear. Play the animation again. The problem has solved. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about the keyframe interpolation. Now, let's make cycle this animation. Press N key and open the right panel. Click on the Modifier tab, and add a Cycles modifier. Let's play the animation again. 
As you can see, the cycle works. But, it runs back all time. To fix this problem, let's switch to repeat with offset option. Play the animation. There we go. The problem has been solved. Also we don't need to make cycle before frame 0, let's set the before mode to no cycles. Also, we can increase or decrease the animation speed. To do this, let's switch to timeline editor again. Select the keyframes at frame 100, hit the G key, and move them further. In this case, the animation speed will down. If we move them closer to frame 1, the animation speed will up. We can also set the render time to 400. It is time to render. Firstly, go to World Properties tab, and set the strength value to 0.05. Let's determine a proper perspective in the viewport. Then, let's add a camera. Press CTRL-ALT-NUMPAD-0, and align the camera to perspective. Hit the G, and middle mouse and zoom out the camera. Click on the Render Properties menu, and set the number of sample to 64 for rendering. Let's enable the bloom effect. So, the earth atmosphere will be glow. Pick the blue color for glowing. Set the threshold value to 0.35. Set the radius value to 5. Set the intensity value all the way up to 0.1. Click on the output properties tab, and set the resolution to 1080 pixel. Select the output folder, and select output file format as MPEG. Switch the container to MPEG-4. Click on the render menu, and render the animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.